back to Universal Studios today to show you guys all the Easter eggs and interactions that I know that are in this park. So why don't you join me on this extraordinary adventure? TLEV Media, bringing the magic of the theme parks to your home. From vlogs to interviews, TLEV Media is entertainment for all. Now, if you are wondering what an Easter egg is, it's a little connection to a movie or a historical thing, an event, something that has a connection to something else. And this park is filled with Easter eggs. Now, Disney is very much known for their Easter eggs in their park and in their movies and all that kind of stuff. But of course, they're not the only theme park that does Easter eggs. No, Universal Studios also has some Easter eggs, and I'm going to show you guys the ones I know throughout the park. Now, does Pickleball Me re replace one of the greatest rides that were out here? And that was Terminator 4D. Um, it was replaced a couple years now, a couple years now. The park decided that they, of course, did not want to leave Terminator 4D to be forgotten. So, of course, they've added a little. Easter egg for Terminator 4D, which is actually located by Slop. Now you might be wondering what the Easter egg is, but let me show you very quickly. So the Terminator 4D Easter egg that I'm talking about is right here. Protected by Cyberdyne. Now if you don't know who Cyberdyne was, it was the group, I would say the corporation that was behind the Terminator 4D ride that we had created their own new Terminators and things go wrong during the show. So Cyberdyne has also been protecting the secret life of pets. Now I don't know if that's a good thing for this store right here um, as things are known to go wrong for Cyberdyne so um, I'd be careful village bikes um, especially you guys are right next to an adoption center so or adoption day so uh, yeah be careful if you didn't even know that even in the secret life of pets ride there is a lot of little Easter eggs and little connections to the world around the ride um, you have one of the dogs wearing an actual minion uh, suit, uh, a minion, uh, yeah, costume. Minions! Oh. That's beautiful. Um, and you also have in the, the queue going through the apartments there are like game cubes, uh, pictures from the movie, um, all kind of things like that. So make sure when you're going through Secret Life of Pets to be checking all of the rooms and all around because there are small little intricate things that are just uh, really fascinating to see and especially you've got to spot out the minion in Secret Life of Press uh, off leash the, the ride you've got to see it. Now another fun interactive is actually located in the super well not the super silly fun land but by the illumination area and that is the doorbells that are located by Despicable Me. But if you never knew, you can come up to the doors and you can actually press the doorbell. physical distancing and keep at least six feet or two meters between your travel party and others. We'll leave minions are actually in this. Let's go see if there's other ones to press. We have another one here, so let's see if it makes the same sound or not. Nice day, Did you get in the park? It was Groot, it was Groot. And again, we have another one. That if you just ask kindly, you can come by Secret Life of Pets to press these buttons if you have never done it before. But let's see this one. Let's go. Who's here, who's uh -oh. here? Uh-oh, uh-oh. More minions. Oh jeez, more minions. And we got one more, we got one more. Let's see, let's see. One more. Who do you guys think it's gonna be? Let us know. More minions. So there you go. A lot of fun for the kids. The doorbells by Minion Mayhem. Now some other little Easter eggs and immersive experience are located actually in Hogsmeade. Hogsmeade is filled with 
the immersive experiences with the wands um, as there are multiple windows that you can go up to and do a little bit of magic. Um, if you have not seen, or if you're new to the channel, we have done this multiple times and I'll put like all their videos right here for you guys to see. You can go up to the windows and do some magic. But also I want to show you guys a little Easter egg that I remember. Um, and I don't know that many people actually point it out. But it does connect with the movie. So why don't we go inside and check it out. If you're ever in Hogsmeade, you can actually see a Gilderoy Lockhart book. If you don't remember, Gilderoy Lockhart is in the second Harry Potter movie, and uh, he's the he's the teacher of the dark arts. And um, yeah, this is the book that he has, and he is getting them signed. So yeah, if you ever or I mean, there's a video right here. I don't think you guys can see it, but if you guys are ever wondering, yeah, there's this little connection to the movie as they are emerging you into more of the Harry Potter lore. Here's a Gilderoy Lockhart book. And the next Easter egg is in this park that I'm going to talk about. It's the one located in here. Yes, the mummy ride. Now you're probably wondering what Easter egg is in this ride over here. Well, it's one that sadly I cannot get a video of or take picture of because it's not permitted in, in the ride. But there is something that used to be in this location before the mummy ride was here and that was the E.T. ride. The E.T. ride was here for a very long time and then it was replaced by the mummy ride but because they wanted to show their respect to the ride they actually put a golden statue of E.T. in the gold of this ride. Now it's not easy to spot at first glance and I know it didn't take it, it took me a couple times to find it However, if you look very closely on the left side of the gold room, you will be able to spot E.T. And of course you can't forget about these in the park, come on. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, let's see. Subscribe. There we go. Beauty. Love it. We're gonna be heading on to the ride. Now I cannot film the Easter egg that I'm talking about, but I will point it out later, and I'll see if I can find an image online that shows the Easter egg that I'm talking about. But it's time to go on this amazing ride. So like I was saying, you can find a little E.T. little statue right by one of the tall sphinx on the left side. Um, I will try to find a picture to show you guys, but there's not many good ones out there. So, if you have seen it before, help people in the comment section down below where to exactly find it. But yeah, in, you can see a little E.T. statue, and it's I think it's one of those cool little Easter eggs. So the next try. interactive that I know of that is located in Springfield is one that is a lot of fun one that uh, makes a lot of things shake so why don't we go do the interactive very quickly now of course Springfield is such a fun place and Krusty Land is such a great addition to the park but really where this little interaction is located is over there it seems like someone has pushed it But yeah, you push the button and you cause a nuclear reaction. So, if you dare, go ahead. But just be ready because you're going to cause a lot of shaking. So, <laughs> be ready for it. So, how you do it is you go over here and you press the button. So if you've never known, you come over here, you press the button, and you cause an accident. So sadly, there's no more than two days without an accident over here. 
So we will see. And that is it for my time at Universal Studios. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This the little Easter eggs that I know of and the interactions in Universal Studios. If I forgot some, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to support our channel, you can do that by going to buymeacoffee.com or just click on the link in the description down below. With that being said, my name is Mr. E and I will see you guys in the next video.